Good morning, everyone. Thank you for your time today. It's half past the hour, so I'm going to get started. I'm really excited to be here today to introduce you to our latest in a series of new products. My name is Sarah Elger, and I'm the Director of Product Innovation and Strategy at Environment. A few housekeeping items before I get started. First, we will be emailing certificates of attendance to all who attend this live webinar. I will be taking questions at the end of the presentation. So if you think of any during the discussion, please use the Q&A feature at the bottom of the screen to submit them. My camera will be off during the presentation, not because I'm presenting from the beach, unfortunately, but rather to save bandwidth in an effort to provide you the best audio visual experience today. So with that, let's get started. I would like to introduce to you our newest product, Camix Cyclic Aerated Mixing. With Camix, our customers can expect 50% or greater reduction in energy usage compared to conventional continuous aeration. Unlimited turndown capability resulting in elimination of over aeration and substantially reduced blower size, which decreases capital expense. Over the course of the next 20 minutes, my goal is to introduce you to the Camix Cyclic Aerated Mixing System by explaining why you should consider Camix, how it works, where we apply the technology and the benefits of using Camix. Then, as I said, I will try to answer as many of your questions as I can. Many, if not all of you have heard of 10 state standards. That's because they were published over 70 years ago. These and publications such as WEF's MOP8 have provided the wastewater community, community with guidelines to design treatment facilities. These standards have acted as guardrails for engineers, but depending on the application and the technology, may not be appropriate to meet project-specific needs because they are generic, not well-defined, outdated, and not really relevant to present-day technology or applications. For example, take 10 state standards and MOP-8 recommended guidelines for aerated mixing rates for equalization, sludge holding, and channels. As a designer, one should question these guidelines and ask, does the type of aeration device matter? Does the organic loading to the process make a difference in the air requirement? What about basin geometry? Does that affect these guidelines? We will seek to answer these questions. Aeration represents one of the most energy intensive operations in municipal wastewater treatment, accounting for 50 to 90% of a treatment facility's total energy costs. In a typical diffused aeration application, air is delivered by aeration blowers through a diffused aeration system, which provides both oxygen and mixing to support the particular treatment process. Diffused aeration is used widely throughout treatment facilities for many applications, including pre-equalization, activated sludge bioreactors, channels, aerobic digesters, sludge holding, and post-aeration tanks. Where the function of the diffused aeration system is to supply oxygen while also mixing the reactor contents. In some instances, though, the airflow required to satisfy the mixing exceeds the airflow requirements to meet the oxygen demand of the application. This results in a mixing limited situation. <clears throat> mixing limited conditions commonly result in over aeration and wasted energy. A plant is usually mixing limited from the day to start up because they are not at their design 30 year loading on the actual day one. Utilizing diffused aeration to transfer oxygen capitalizes on the strength of the technology. This is what the technology does best. Though diffused aeration can also mix effectively, it does so at relatively high energy costs and is therefore not the best technology for a mixing limited application. By understanding the challenges of aligning oxygen supply and satisfying mixing needs, Environmix is challenging the status quo by introducing a solution to fill a gap in the marketplace that is more efficient without compromising performance, addressing mixing limited applications in an energy efficient manner. The solution is respectful of the intentions of the industry standards that we talked about while offering the design engineer and utility owner the flexibility to customize the airflow 
to meet the specific needs of the application. The professionals at Environmix took their understanding, took our understanding of mixing with proprietary pneumatic valve module control and combine it with a background in aeration and biological process and use that nexus of expertise to develop a new product unlike anything in the market, even though it does seem familiar. Over the years, a common misperception of our biomix compressed gas mixing system has existed. People have thought, so they're just using coarse bubble aeration to mix, right? No, that is not the case. Compressed gas mixing may use large bubbles, but these bubbles are substantially larger than the coarse bubbles. And as such, there is negligible oxygen transfer, and therein lies the key misunderstanding. So how does our compressed gas mixing system work? The biomix system provides uniform mixing of the tank contents at a fraction of the energy consumption of mechanical mixing by firing programmed short duration bursts of compressed air in areas of a tank in sequence through nozzles that are located near the tank floor. The biomix system works by utilizing a central compressor system to produce the necessary air volume to meet the mixing demand. The compressor charges a receiver tank for air storage, which buffers the system demand. The receiver tank supplies air to the valve module, which controls the firing parameters of pressure, frequency of discrete mixing, duration of air release, and header firing sequence. Biomix uses patented engineered nozzles near the floor of the tank to generate large fluid displacing bubbles produced by short duration bursts of compressed air. Those air bubbles expand upward and outward without measurable oxygen transfer due to the characteristics of the large bubbles. Leveraging our proven intermittent compressed gas mixing technology, CAMEX now introduces localized proportional air volumes to simultaneously and uniformly mix and aerate portions of a tank in sequence. Before I go into greater detail about how, how CAMEX works, I want to discuss some of the testing results so that you can understand the similarities to biomix operation. We completed this test testing at the Cherry Point Water Reclamation Facility that is a part of the Beaufort Jasper Water and Sewer Authority in South Carolina. The testing was conducted in a sludge holding tank. The traditional approach to aerated mixing is to, to use full floor coverage of aeration equipment to continuously aerate and mix the tank. The goal of aerated mixing is to maintain solids in suspension while keeping the process sweet by adding oxygen. For mixing systems, we typically use a coefficient of variation test as an on-site performance test to prove complete mixing in a tank. A CV test uses a handheld total suspended solids meter to measure in situ TSS concentrations at three different depths over four different horizontal plane locations for each test. The data is analyzed in each reactor or in each zone to confirm that the CV of the collected data points is less than 10%, thus satisfying the field performance testing criteria and indicating uniform mixing. For all the data I'm about to share, I'm going to be showing the mean TSS value. Each sample set of data that we collected had a corresponding CV value of less than 5% and showed complete mixing. So the baseline data we collected was to confirm complete mixing in a continuously aerated tank. You can see here the average TSS values in three separate areas or grids of this tank while the entire tank is aerating continuously. This should look familiar. The air supplied to the three grids was set at 750 SCFM, which is the equivalent of 30 S per K for this entire tank volume. As you can see, the mean values are all within 50 milligrams per liter of each other. As suspected and proved throughout the years, full floor continuously operated aeration does indeed completely mix the tank. So next, we implemented the patent pending pattern of CAMEX cyclic mixing. Notice that this tank has three individual grids. 
also notice that we are delivering only a fraction of the air volume to each grid. In this case, 250 SCFM, which is the equivalent of 30 S per K for just the volume of the tank that this grid occupies. The cycling pattern of the CAMEX operation sends air sequentially to each grid. We completed a mixing performance test for each of the grids to confirm that they completely mix the volume of the tank corresponding to each grid. As you can see, each of the mean TSS values are still all within the 5% of the original full floor tank coverage mixing test, which is perfect. So next, we examined how the remainder of the tank responded to the sequential operating pattern of mixing. The results were similar. The CV of all the different samples collected in each of the three grids, regardless of which grid which, uh, was in operation, were all less than 5%. Recall that less than 10% is the industry recognized standard for uniform mixing. We found that through experimenting with different cycling patterns, we could have complete mixing in the entire tank without continuously aerating the entire tank. The reasons for this are twofold. Yes, the fluid velocities in the tank encouraged and supported continuous mixing, but key to the operation was the understanding of the cycling between the grids, which we already had a solid understanding of from our years of experience with Biomax. We also wanted to confirm that we would experience similar results at a wide variety of total suspended solids concentrations. So we tested at a number of different values ranging between 1,000 milligrams per liter at the low end and 20,000 milligrams per liter at the high end. At every concentration that we tested, it showed complete mixing in the tank when operated as CAMEX. This left us with the final test, confirming that we can deliver oxygen to the process as well. For oxygen delivery, we completed our testing just a little bit different. We used online DO and ORP sensors that could be moved into different grids within the tank during operation. The graph here shows online DO and ORP data from when the sensors were located in the far right grid as depicted in those previous slides. As you can see, despite the, cy the cyclic aerated mixing pattern, the DO remains fairly stable and the ORP values clearly show aerobic conditions with values greater than 200 millivolts and actually above 240 millivolts. We optimized the control parameters to minimize the DO concentration so that we could demonstrate energy savings while keeping the process sweet, right around 0.5 milligrams per liter of DO. After we completed our testing, we were ready to challenge the status quo by introducing this new solution without compromising performance, completely mixing while keeping the process just a little bit sweet. So now let's get into the details of what exactly is CAMEX and how does this work? The beauty of CAMEX is that it operates on the same principle of cycling air to different portions of the tank sequentially. However, Instead of using nozzles with high pressure compressed gas, we use conventional fine or coarse bubble diffusers with low pressure air from a conventional blower. The air can either be supplied from a dedicated blower or from a centralized air supply. A proprietary valve module and controller then direct the air to the grids. Instrumentation feedback can be used to automatically adjust aerated mixing parameters, such as dissolved oxygen. The air valves, the air volumes both mix and aerate the individual zones, opposite of biomix, which does not deliver any oxygen. CAMEX operation can be adjusted to provide complete tank mixing, partial mixing, or even quiescent conditions in discrete zones or in complete tanks. As you can see from this aerial view of the plant, the CAMEX system is only operating in one zone at any given time. There is a slight overlap between the zones to prevent deadheading of the blower, 
but otherwise the sequence passes from one zone to the next. You can see currents in the non-actuated zones in the tank that show the larger zone of influence from the actuated zones. This zone of influence combined with the sequencing pattern and timing is what is used to ensure complete mixing throughout the tank. The scope of supply for a CAMEX system includes the aeration valve module that is mounted tank side and individual diffuser grids with coarse or fine bubble diffusers at a minimum. The dedicated blower can be provided by Environmix or air from a centralized air supply can be used. The aeration valve module or AVM as we call it is the brains of the CAMEX system. The same proven air control valves that are used in hundreds of biomix systems have now been adopted for low pressure air application. This plug and play control box is a completely engineered solution that includes an intuitive user interface and all the logic needed to operate the air control valves located within the panel. The AVM can provide standalone control of the CAMEX system. The AVM can also interface with an Environmix master control panel if the system is part of a larger Environmix solution, or it can, can communicate directly to the plant SCADA for both monitoring and control. So where can a CAMIC system be used and what are the benefits? A CAMIC system can be used in any mixing limited application in a wastewater plant or where mixing is required, but the process only needs a small amount of oxygen. The most popular applications are sludge storage, equalization tanks, and channels. However, I'm guessing that you are probably thinking of one or two other applications at a facility you're working on right now where this just might be the solution you're looking for. The most obvious benefit of CAMEX is the reduction in both capital expenditure and operating expenditure. By cycling the air from one zone in a tank to the next, instead of applying it to the entire tank 24 seven, there is a reduction in energy consumption by more than 50% in most applications. Additionally, the size of the blower will be dramatically and similarly reduced, resulting in capital savings. Finally, during operation, there is unlimited turndown capability, which results in elimination of over aeration and wasted energy. The example shown in the graphic to the right shows a typical system designed with a conventional approach of 30S per K on the top. To continuously aerate the entire tank, the blower must be sized for 1000 SCFM. However, with CAMEX, the air is directed to individual zones with the airflow rate designed around an equivalent 30S per K per zone, which is only 250 SCFM in this bottom example. The result is a substantially smaller sized blower, which is operating at lower horsepower. Other benefits of CAMEX are related to process optimization. The aerated mixing parameters allow for flexibility such that an operator can adjust parameters manually or use instrumentation feedback to automatically change parameters. An example of this is using dissolved oxygen readings to reduce the aeration intensity or completely stop mixing to prevent over aeration. CAMEX uses bottom-up mixing to provide options for plants for a variety of different mixing objectives. Environmix guarantees uniform mixing with an on-site performance test during the startup period. CAMEX offers straightforward operation, giving operations and maintenance staff peace of mind. With the intuitive controls, you can set it and forget it, especially during times of steady state operation. With no mechanical or electrical components in the wastewater, the system is low maintenance with trouble-free operation. CAMEX offers unparalleled flexibility for implementation and operation. CAMEX systems are compatible with any type of tank geometry, including those with hopper bottoms, since the aeration devices can be contoured to the tank of the floor and operate in sequence to prevent the issues with different diffuser depths. 
Panic solves the problems of maldistribution of air and solids depo deposition below the grid, which typically results in reduced tank capacity. CAMEX is also able to operate at a variable water depths. The system can use dedicated blowers or a side stream of air from an existing air main. CAMEX is adjustable to a number of different MNC options, including optional DO, ORP, and or TSS controls. So in summary, the points that I want you to remember from this presentation today are that CAMEX cyclic aerated mixing delivers proportional air volumes that uniformly mix and aerate areas of the tank in sequence. CAMEX delivers unlimited turndown capability, eliminating over aeration specifically for those mixing limited applications. CAMEX delivers 50% or greater reduction in energy usage versus conventional continuous aeration. And finally, CAMEX delivers substantially reduced blower size, which decreases the capital expenses. That concludes my presentation today. I'm gonna to take a look through any questions that were submitted via the Q&A feature. Any questions that I don't get to during this live webinar will be answered via email, either by myself or another member of our great team. As I said earlier, a follow-up email will be sent to all participants with a certificate of completion and additional information about CAMEX. When you exit out of this webinar, please take a moment to complete the short survey that will provide us feedback and let us know if you would like someone to contact you about any of our Environmix products. Thank you so much for your time and attention today. I hope you are just as excited about our latest product as we are. All right, let me pull up some of your questions here. Give me just a moment. Uh, we have one question here that says, have you had installations where you reuse an existing fine bubble diffuser aeration system? Um, we have uh, looked at those. Um, all that needs to be done is that those would need to be separated out into the individual grids. So uh, a couple of drop pipes that would be added. We wanna make sure that that diffuser system has a decent amount of life left, left in it um, so that we're not uh, putting the, the plant at a, uh, at a disadvantage, but yes, that is something that we could look at is uh, reusing uh, fine bubble diffuser systems that are uh, in good shape and have a, an ease for being able to adjust and modify for that. Uh, the next question I see is, can this be used for nutrient removal where you may have anoxic zones that still need mixing within the same tank? Um, I guess I'm not sure that I fully follow the question, but I just wanna clarify, if you have an anoxic zone that you don't want any oxygen to be present in, then I would recommend using our Biomex compressed gas mixing system. But if you have some kind of combined tank where you wanna combine the Biomex system in the anoxic zone and the remainder of the tank uh, with a, a CAMEX system, that can absolutely be done. So these two systems are compatible together. We can actually use um, the compressor for the Biomix system to actuate the valve modules in the CAMEX system. So they work great together. Um, oh, I, I was saying 30S per K a lot and someone asked me to clarify. Uh, yes, 30S per K is just the shorthand for uh, 30 SCFM per thousand cubic feet. I have another question here that's asking me what the typical cycle time is per grid. And um, that's, the, that's the sweet sauce. So that's what we understand um, and is actually modified depending on a couple of different factors. It, it's modified based on how many grids are in the individual tank or the individual application. Um, it's modified based on uh, what the process is. So is it an equalization tank? Is it a channel? Is it a sludge holding tank? What are the What's the, the, what's the, uh, uh, what's, what am I trying to say? What are the goals of what that application is trying to do? 
And then it's also going to be modified based on what the average or the design solids concentration is going to be. So um, we would love to uh, see your application and then be able to give you some feedback on what that typical cycle time might be. Uh, give me just a moment. I'm just looking for some other questions. Um, I have a question about uh, activated sludge and someone is asking that uh, you typically want to maintain a DO of around two milligrams per liter to minimize filaments. So why was why were why were we targeting that 0.5 milligram per liter, which is a, a pretty low residual DO? And the answer to that is that uh, we were simulating a sludge storage tank. And so I agree in an activated sludge system, you probably want to carry a little bit higher DO, um, especially in the aeration basins, higher than 0.5 milligrams per liter, where this system uh, is, is, is perfectly suited is for those mixing limited applications that just need a little bit of oxygen to keep them sweet. So uh, things like an equalization tank, uh, most plants don't need to run those at a two milligram per liter DO. That's, uh, that, that tends to be just a little bit of a waste of energy. And so that's why we were targeting that 0.5 because really you just need a little bit of oxygen in there. Some people like having a little bit of oxygen in their equalization tank um, if they think that they might have an odor problem. Um, but they don't necessarily need that two milligrams per liter that like a, a full floor uh, coverage system might be designed around. Um, we have lots of great questions here. Thank you so much. Uh, there's a question around uh, what, what manufacturers are we using for uh, fine bubble diffusers? Are you providing an Environmix product? Um, there's uh, plenty of both fine and coarse bubble diffusers in the marketplace that um, have been proven over time. Uh, we are working with our customers to understand uh, what they want uh, with our rep network, uh, what they recommend and things like that. So it is not uh, an environment design, but it's not a new product uh, for aeration or for diffusers that it's on the marketplace. We are using existing manufacturers. Um, there is a question. Uh, this is a great question. Any plans to test at higher concentrations than 2% uh, in the future? Yes. Uh, we were able to do a certain number uh, of testing before we wanted to launch the product. Um, and luckily for us, we have access to this fantastic test site for uh, quite a while still. And so we're going to be playing around with a lot of different parameters and seeing um, some additional things that the system is capable of. Uh, working on some some other uh, R&D and innovation type projects as it's related to this. So uh, yes, there is uh, further testing that, that will be done. And uh, I, uh, we, we do like that idea of testing at those higher concentrations. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Someone asked if it's possible to see this configuration in action. Um, absolutely, when you close out of this webinar, uh, and you take the survey, just uh, put a note in there that you would like us to give you a call and we would uh, be happy to set something up, uh, whether you want to come in person or if you would like to do uh, some kind of Zoom or uh, a webinar. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I see a couple of repeat questions, so I'm just, going through here. Actually, you know what I'm looking at? It's, we're really close to the top of the hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to stop our Q and A period right now. Um, if I didn't get to your question, like I said, um, I would be happy all of a, someone from Enviromix, whether it be myself or, or one of my other co colleagues uh, will respond to your question via email. Um, so please take a moment. Uh, I think it's just a couple of questions in the survey. Let us let me know how I did today. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to hear from Enviromix and absolutely let us know if you'd like us to contact you right away. Uh, thank you for your time and attention and have a great rest of your day. Thanks everyone.